Okay, so here's the story. I was sitting on my couch, scrolling on social media to numb the boredom and procrastinate forever on my work and my dreams, you know, the usual. When suddenly, I've been told a crucial information. Discovery Channel is looking for a TV host to shoot a five-episode documentary in Xinjiang. I was like, Whoa. Then I thought, that, that could, could be cool. cool. If you're interested by the position and have experience in the field, no experience whatsoever. Nah. And you can apply by sending a video introduction. Yes. Since I'm crazy, I thought I'd try my luck and send my application for the TV host position. I'm Hasna, I'm an architect, and I will be talking about the exciting position of co-hosting in Documentary of Sanji. Hi there. Hi there. I'm Hasna. And to talk about this meaningful project. And I believe I can bring a valuable... A valuable... I am. But also for the traveler who likes to visit wisdom of the local people. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and I hope... Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and I hope to meet you soon. Bye. After a few miserable and painful attempts, well, I did it. And I sent it. Then I dreamt of a bright future while I was waiting, 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 waiting and waiting uh, till I received the message and that I got the job I got the job of TV hosting a Discovery Channel documentary you guys I'm gonna go to Xinjiang <gasps> what I felt <laughs> panic but I'm gonna tell you all about it I mean not me I'm just the editor who realized there was missing an introduction to the story. Come on! What's up? I will let her tell you the story. Hello! Hello! And if you ask her how this whole experience was, she would tell you it was crazy. It was wild! Let me tell you about the whole thing. Oh yeah. Enjoy watching! Bye! Her now. So, where do I start? I start from... Bruh. Transition violente, c'est la veille. La valise est presque prête. Moi, je ne suis pas du tout prête. On va y aller comme on est, c'est-à-dire comme on est. Alors, je ne stresse plus. Je ne stresse plus et j'y vais en mode... De... On verra. Ce qui passera, passera. That's it. Woke up in the morning very early, went to the airport, took many, 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 many flights and arrived to the destination where I didn't know anybody. Got picked up by some people that I don't know to go to the hotel and meet the rest of the team that I didn't know. Good night. <laughs> Je suis au fin fond du pays, je n'ai encore vu personne que je connaisse et <rire> il n'y a que des hommes autour de moi. Mais ça va aller. Je les éclate moi. Si quelqu'un me fait chier, je l'éclate la gueule, je l'éclate la gueule. Allez, je vais me laver. Ouh, j'en ai besoin. And I entered this big room with a big table with wonderful dishes turning around and I had to meet, you know, the rest of the team. J'ai rencontré l'équipe. Ils sont nombreux. À la fin, les deux producteurs m'ont dit Tu va falloir parler de ci, de ça, de ça. Ça, c'est le nom de ça, ça, c'est le nom de ça. va falloir mentionner ça et mentionner ça. Et je vais rencontrer ci et rencontrer ça. Il va falloir que je leur dise ci et que je leur dise ça. <rire> oh mon dieu Dans quoi je me suis embarqué Dans quoi je me suis embarqué 
ça va le faire, ça va le faire, ça va le faire, ça va le faire. Good night. Bruh. So the day after was the shooting day. The first shooting day. I woke up like a trembling queen, but like, you know, faking to myself that everything's gonna be okay. But I had no idea actually how I'm gonna react in front of the cameras and in front of the producer and the director and the camera operator and the mic guy and the, the assistants and like how, not, how am I gonna be natural like if nothing's happening when everybody is watching every word you're saying and every reaction you're having if it goes well on the screen because <laughs> this is not acting acting I could rehearse I could I could get into a character but this I had to be myself I had to show my real self and that was the problem on my creative quest is to be self-acceptant unconditionally just like whatever will come out of my mouth is fine whatever face I will make will be fine whatever reaction whatever words it's all fine because it comes from me and I am fine are you sure about that no I'm like don't be a dum-dum. Like, don't do that. Stop doing that and don't do that. Don't shame me. Those were the voices that I had in my mind and uh, they, that made me so scared that I wasn't feeling anything anymore. When we arrived to the place, it was so beautiful. It was these mountains with snow white and everything was beautiful. But at that time, I couldn't see the beauty. Emotionally, I could not feel it. I was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like in survival mode. <laughs> in survival mode. So they asked me, are you okay? I'm like, yes. How are you feeling? Nothing. Happy to be here? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so the camera is on, the gear is out, it's time to start. And they're like, well, first thing you say before meeting the guests, maybe, maybe the landscape. You can talk about the landscape. What do you think? It's a beautiful mountain, right? I'm like, yes, yes, it's a beautiful mountain, yes. They're like, okay, say it on camera. Say, say it on camera, it's a beautiful mountain. Say it in an excited way, like raise the energy, you're excited, it's a beautiful place, it's a beautiful mountain communicated to the camera and I'm not feeling anything so I have to just act like it and I don't know what to do how to do it I look at the mountain my camera is on action and I go <laughs> the shame of my freaking life <laughs> <laughs> my voice went ah! and my hands were up and I'm like see I'm excited did you catch me on camera and the producer stopped and she was like no we don't want that like 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 less drama more chill it's just a mountain I mean it's a beautiful mountain right yeah it's a beautiful mountain Good. Say it how you say it to me. It's a beautiful mountain. Say it to the camera the same way. I go <gasps> ah! Stop it. Get some help. This scene was a nightmare and after that of course I did better than that for the rest of the show because I cannot do worse than ah! and uh, after the producer and I became sort of friends. I loved her so much and um, and we kept laughing about this first scene. She was always like, yeah! <laughs> anyway. After this ah! moment came the guest and it was so much easier to be natural and to be present with my body and to chill because I could connect to her eyes, I could connect to her as a human being. I am kind of good with humans, I like human connection, so it really grounded me. I felt more present and aware of my body and my what was surrounding me, and I felt like my senses were coming back, and she was such a sweet girl. So we connected, I felt like it was a great day. I think I cried after this, like I went to the bathroom and I cried a bit and I was like... <laughs> What I learned from that first shooting day is that I wasn't particularly 
born good at it, at hosting a documentary. I guess nobody is good at something that they do for the first time. Not just me, right? Right? But I learned that I could already get better throughout the day of shooting and I could get better for the coming episodes. And that I was surrounded with people that knew better than me and that could teach me a lot about it. Uh, so I was like, okay, chill, it's an opportunity to learn. <laughs> From that day, we were like shooting after shooting, moving after moving, we met new people, we saw new animals, new landscapes, we went from a landscape to another landscape, to a different other landscape, I felt like the seasons were changing, it was beautiful and it, I felt that I could gain my experience and my practice shooting after shooting and that I could feel more comfortable with the camera, with the people around with the critics, with the feedbacks, with my own voices, with uh, my own choices. I could feel that I was taking control of the situation. I mean, by taking control of the situation, I mean learning to pretend like I did because many times I would feel quite sad because I would realize that I didn't succeed on letting myself get out of my shell and instead I just you know buried myself in expectations and self-awareness and self-criticism fun stuff I'm a creative person I have so many stories to tell I have so many ideas and feelings that I want to share and I feel like my responsibility uh, towards this fire inside of me is to learn the tools in order to do it right and by tools I don't just mean you know learning how to perform or how to host or how to um, manage the softwares yes but specifically the tools for me are learning to trust my gut learning to let it go learning to be fearless and getting rid of the creative uh, blocks and irrational fears and I would want this for all of us because I really believe that we all have a poetry inside of us that we have a responsibility towards um, the responsibility to let it express itself freely it's weird but I'm excited to not be there yet to that space of free creativity I'm excited to not still be creatively free because I feel like I'm giving myself this mission of bringing uh, my little uh, child uh, to uh, to life again. Yeah, it's like a, some sort of treasure hunt. How to find the key to the door and then we open the door and we're gonna find joy and freedom of creation. Yeah. Because <laughs> I felt like this is all I want, to be creatively free. Every step that I'm doing, every mistake that I'm making, every experience that I'm taking, even if it's scary, is just a step forward to that dream of free creativity. Conclusion! Let's have conclusion. As I'm talking about it, I'm getting, I'm getting excited. And I don't want the video to end right now because I got my expectation high. No, no, I'm gonna chill, 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 chill. Bruh. I think the video's goal at the beginning was to inspire if you are also on a journey of free creativity because I think it's what we want, all of us as human beings. I don't think it's something unique to me. Um, I think we all want to be free and I wanted to inspire you to do the same. But how did I manage to do that? How did I manage to inspire you? Did I? I don't think I did. I just talked about my experiences like a fucking narcissist but what you can take out of this experience is yes the most important thing one of the most i will go one by one this thing is even if there is an experience that is so scary because it's so much bigger than what you think you can do and 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 you're scared to disappoint the others or just lie about your abilities or just you know all these voices telling you you're gonna fail 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 still do it <laughs> still do it so maybe it's gonna be with a bit of pain but it's just gonna bring you to a higher level of confidence higher level of experience in general higher level of knowledge you know about the things yeah do the experience even if it's scary and your brain start telling you no don't do it you know what maybe we don't want it blah, 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 blah. just shut it off do and, it. and and just do it just do it just do it just do it and uh, the second the second thing 
is love yourself. I cannot say this more to you or to myself. I cannot say it more. And I don't want to, you know, beat myself up if I if I don't say the right thing or the perfect thing or the smart thing or the funny thing or <laughs> it's like I have this persona in my head that I want to be but that I'm not because I don't want to be you know I just want to be myself and I just want to be like <laughs> and 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 that makes me feel happy because it makes me feel like I'm in the flow and I'm just present and I'm just living you know and I'm not betraying myself trying to become someone else that I'm not this is just self-betrayal and I don't know why I want to do it for so that people think of me that I'm, that I'm cool. But I don't care at the end of the day what people would think. Of course I do. I want to be loved and appreciated and connected and blah, 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 but for who I am. See the whole process. See the whole picture. Yeah, see the big picture. If you are struggling with something, you feel like you cannot do it and you feel like you're not good at it, it's okay. You are supposed not to be good at it. That's why you're doing it. Uh, to get better at it, right? So when seeing the big picture, every little thing starts to be really just small and um, and um, charming almost. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> now I have to calm down because I got myself excited too much. I have a drink. I can't believe I have to put subtitles to all of this in French. Did I talk too, too fast? I think I talked too fast. I was too fast, right? I was too fast. Well, I guess it's too late. Anyway, uh, we'll see you on the next um, experience, next free creativity talk. I am sure there will be because this path is giving me a lot of passion and I feel like I can help myself with it and I can help you with it if you're interested to be creatively free. And um, I don't know what the next episode is going to be about, but it's going to be about something. So stay here with me and let's grow up together.